Let's bring in the management of Radico Khaitan though to decode their quarterly numbers. Uh, Dilip Bantia, the CFO of the company, joins us right now on the show to talk about those. Uh, Mr. Bantia, thanks so much for um, being patient with us today. We had just a couple of interviews that we had to go to before we come to you, but I appreciate you holding on to the line. Uh, summarize the quarter for us. The revenue numbers look okay, but gross margins did see a bit of a dip. Yeah, so good afternoon. Actually, in this period of last quarter from October to December, we have grown on our volume by 14%, where our premium brands have grown by 21% and the regular brands have grown by 11%. So the top line growth has been very well at 17.2%. However, uh, because there is a raw material increase and in this period, we have seen an increase of around 22% in our ENA prices versus the same quarter last year. So this partly this has been offset uh, because of the price increase however we 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 have had the gross margin of 48.4 percent in q2 which has improved to 49.7 percent 130 basis point improvement sequentially but there is some dip versus yoy and mainly because of the ena price raw material scenario uh, being tough in this year but we feel that the worst is over from uh, the raw material side because there is a good monsoon and we, we, we have seen enough hike in last two years so that uh, will improve in future. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Bantia, the belief was that you would, because of your aggressive marketing uh, across states and you know your, the expansion distribution for 8pm black or MM vodka or the Jaisalba gin, you would show volume growth numbers which would be double digits, maybe even clocking into lower double digit volume growth. What has been the number this time around? How do you expect that to shape up going ahead? So as rightly that we have actually grown on our premium brands where there is 8pm premium black the 1965, the Magic Moment, the Morphous. So the whole portfolio of premium brands have grown by 21% in this quarter and 16.3% in nine months. Whereas our regular brands have also grown 11% in this quarter and 10.6% in the nine months. So there has been a good growth versus the industry growing by 1.5% and 2.5% in nine months period. So we have beaten the industry by a big margin and taken bigger market share. Mm. Uh, so can you talk to us a little bit more about uh, you know how you're looking at the revenue mix now with regards to uh, the PNA as well as the popular segments is there going to be a change from the last two quarters? Yes so we have continuously improved our top line IFL sales from PNA section and in this quarter uh, the uh, prestige and above brand uh, forms around 50% of the overall sales of IMFL, where the volume wise it is around 29.4%, but value wise it is 50%. So, we uh, versus this was 28.3% uh, sequentially. Uh, so, we have improved continuously on our uh, product uh, mix uh, to a better side. What's the. the all right, so what is the plan with regards to uh, the increase in distributorship? I mean, you know, last quarter you said that there were uh, some, you know, additional credit liquidity related stresses. Do you think all of that is behind? Yeah, so there is some uh, liquidity uh, this, in some of the state corporation. There are uh, delayed payment. And that is uh, that is the reason that working capital and debt in this quarter has gone up by 41 crores. However, we feel that this is temporary as the uh, states get their dues from the central government. I think this payment is going to be regularized. Just one question, sir. Uh, in light of higher raw material prices, that's been the case, I guess, now for the last two year, uh, two quarters. Pardon me. Has any price hike that you've taken in the recent past? Yeah, we have taken some price uh, increase in the last couple of quarters. Uh, however, the overall weightage is around 1.5%. This has been in the states like Uttar Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Andhra, Rajasthan, Delhi, all these states. And uh, since the raw material prices are much more higher, and it has been on a YOI basis 20% plus. So we are talking to some of the large states in southern uh, India 
and let's hope for the that we will get some price increases there also in future was there any impact on the earnings due to andhra pradesh government cancelling licenses of bars in the last quarter so there has been some impact of the uh, the industry uh, however still uh, the, the there is a uh, some 10 15% impact on the volume of that particular state and uh, uh, what's your how much revenue do you derive from that state around 7% around 7 and on that there's been impact of about 10 to 15% yeah but we have improved on our scale because our product mix is going on very well sure. our morpheus brand magic moment and old and male brandy all are doing well in that state there is a growth we are seeing in the andhra pradesh in spite of industry slowdown okay sir we we'll leave it on that note appreciate you joining us and taking us uh, through your earnings and all the best for uh, the current quarter as well